when you talk about the tournament for basketball, you see a team's got a good draw or a bad draw. I actually, I hate the Yankees draw. I hate it. Now, I'm not saying that I don't think they're going to have success, but of all the things that could have fallen their way, I think this is the least favorable because not only are you facing the Cleveland Indians in this first three-game series on the road, but most likely you're going to face the thorn in your side, your arch nemesis in the 2020 shortened season in the Tampa Bay Rays if you get through the Indians after that. You know, you'll so kill this the is Rays. unfavorable. Kill the Rays. I mean, look, what? You know, so where, is, where is your you boy from? Is your boy Chernoff? Is he rooting for the Indians or the Yankees? That's a that's a real. He's going to pick his son, but it's a photo finish. It's a photo finish. Really? He's always yeah. He's always gonna. I mean the the Yankees going on a big playoff run would be great for the radio station, but I still think that he ends up picking his son over the radio station by really? by, by like a nose by a nose yeah by a nose. Hmm. He's always gonna pick his son. Can you blame him? No, I don't, close. of course I don't blame him. But I'm just you know I just figured you know radio station Yankees dollars and cents that yeah, kind of thing. I mean it's it's right, but it's sort of like the same thing in in a way. When you started becoming an Islander, no, fan it has not. No, I, I, first of all, I didn't become an Islander fan. And, no, no, and it's very two. similar. Good parallel. No, no it wasn't. And by the way, right. the Islanders don't make me any money. Okay, the Yankees, but they keep your daughter happy, which is even more important. Uh, okay, don't they? I, I guess so. You know, if, whatever. Yes, I guess you're right. I'm not. I'm not getting into that. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. Right. You made a choice because it was family over allegiance. Yeah, but I, but I, no, I was Mark rooting for my son-in-law. That's for sure. But it had nothing to do with anything like you know, like the radio station or the son-in-law. I mean, like the it's the son-in-law. There was no thing about the radio station. This happens to have a very large okay. impact on the radio station. If the Islanders were playing it the does, Rangers, I, and, and I'd then, be rooting for the Rangers. And then 100%. he was rooting for Matt. Then no, that, no, that would no, be. The I'd same. be rooting for the Rangers one hundred percent. Hey, look at. I don't know how many oh, breakaways man. Matt had on Hank, and Hank beat him every time. So I don't. What, what do you want me to do? That's just the way it is. <laughs> and well, maybe now, and maybe now that the, year, so the Rangers know. are starting to clear cap space, maybe we can have a see a little vision of a number seventeen in the red, white, and blue, huh? Yeah, maybe. Just you never know, man. Claps. That would be it something else. Just... That would be miserable for him. Why? That would be why would, would be that because, be miserable? I mean, you rooting for him because it, for him it would be miserable because there's just think about it the way you would be on his ass at, at any point if he screwed up bad turnover whatever I mean it would just you'd be incessantly texting him you'd be ripping him on the air it would be the worst decision I, ever I made. would be standing outside that locker room <laughs> what the hell what, the, what are we doing here it would be the toughest guy they've had <laughs> in like fifteen years yeah though. you're right that's what I'm saying this is what yeah, our team now true. now that we get this cap space and we start moving things around moving pieces around bringing some other young guys up maybe drafting this kid number one overall Woo-hoo, baby here we go can't wait for uh January right, we have 1st, a radio 2021 get get rid of 2020 oh, yeah and start oh. the season in 2021 and let's roll 